is no better go-to guy on this subject than America's toughest sheriff, Joe Arpaio of Maricopa County, Arizona. Maricopa County includes Phoenix. In square mileage, it is the size of the state of Connecticut. And Joe, we appreciate you joining us once again on America's Forum. Well, great to see you, or uh, talk to you, J.D. Well, we see you uh, there, and we know this remains a problem, and we want to get your evaluation, how you see it. Is it possible that ISIS militants have crossed our southern border with Mexico? Well, if they haven't, they sure can. Uh, uh, you know that. By the way, J.D., uh, I, I, you know, you're... Uh, not a congressman anymore. You did a great job, but you must be somewhat amused or disappointed. You've been fighting this problem uh, for years and years, and here we are still doing the same thing, and nothing's really been done about it. But to get back to your uh, question, of course, uh, you know, the media, all these national and international channels uh, pick up on uh, politicians saying that the border is not secure. We keep saying it. You think they don't hear that? And uh, so there's always that possibility of anyone, anyone coming across that border uh, into our country. So I'm not, I would not be surprised. Well, uh, I appreciate your kind words. And for the record, we should point out that uh, in my most recent political race back in 2010, when I hoped to become the United States Senator from Arizona, I appreciated your strong support. Uh, in that campaign, we both visited the southern border together and yet as you characterize it 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 continues to be a political talking point republicans democrats presidents senators members of congress all saying quote we must secure the border joe what is it going to take to finally secure that border well, you know, uh, my background, uh, I was the regional director in Mexico City, South America, Central America, Texas, Arizona. So I spent 12 years as a top federal official, plus 22 years as the sheriff. So I, I give you my background because what I'm about to say, uh, we did. It's not uh, on a come. When I was there, we were operational. We worked with the Army, uh, the federalities right there on the, on the streets, locked up people. So I keep saying that we should go across that border with the Border Patrol or the military, work together, together like I did, and we'll solve the problem. But you know that's never going to happen because the will of both presidents, Mexico and the United States, is not there like it was under President Nixon. So that's how you do it. You got to stop it before it comes to the border. It comes across the border. That's the key issue, but nobody's talking about it. So the takeaway from this, and it was part of my legislation, the Enforcement First Act, place our standing military on the borders to supplement the border patrol, not to be inactive, but to play a real role and, and move forward from there to end the political inclinations of the political class. Joe, I want to move to the interior. You have been one who has enforced federal law on immigration to the point where uh, the governor of Sonora, the Mexican state bordering Arizona, was complaining about his countrymen returning home to the point where the current administration has tried to take action against you in court to try and have a federal judge oversee what you do precisely because you enforce immigration law. And yet, it seems like illegal immigration in Maricopa County is down based on your actions. Do you offer an example for the rest of the country? Yeah, I, uh, when they ever get to comprehensive uh, uh, immigration reform, and by the way, there's a word that makes me very angry. It's, we must secure the border. Then they throw in first. That's a cop out, so they don't have to enforce all those uh, illegal aliens in our country. Always blame the border. The border will never be 100% secure. And I hope people know that. So we have to go across the border. When you say military, I'm talking about 
in Mexico across the border to stop the uh, drug traffickers, illegal immigrants uh, from coming into our country. It can be done. Like, as I said, we did it years ago. So uh, you have to have the will, J.D., the will to do it. The greatest country in, in the world, uh, and uh, we can't seem to uh, get away with this problem. Isn't that sad? Well, you mentioned what has happened in years past. Your days as a federal agent dealing with many of these same questions when Richard Nixon was president. Joe, we can go back even further in our history. Early in the 20th century, it was that noted progressive Woodrow Wilson who sent General John Blackjack Pershing into Mexico in pursuit mm -hmm. of uh, Pancho Villa and others who were, uh, who were involved in border raids. When you talk about American military intervention, are you talking about setting up, well, in essence, a more fortified border? Or when you talk about crossing that border, are you talking about special forces and armed interdiction to deal with the drug cartels and others in Mexico? I'm, I'm talking about like we did. We were operational, my agents, working with the Army. I did it. I used to even tell the Army where to go, believe it or not, and the federal police working as a team and use the, uh, our military resources along with theirs and stop the crime uh, over in that country. That's all I'm talking about. So, Why so can't we just send to, just some to clarify, resources over there? Just to clarify, when you were based in Mexico City, you would work with the Mexican government and Mexican military and Mexican police to get that done. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, operational, not with briefcases. All operational right. with the guns and everything else. I've done that in Turkey, the Middle East, South America. We have done that. Well, here, but th that's why we dried up the French connection. Well, here's the challenge we see. And it goes back to that four-letter word, will. You say American politicians are reluctant. We just had the president of Mexico in California the past couple of days calling that state, quote, the other Mexico. Is there any will on the part of the Mexican government to see what is its northern border with the United States to see it enforced? No. All those kids that came over from Central America, they came through Mexico. Why weren't they stopped? Why did they let them cross the uh, uh, border? Come on. You have to have the will of the Mexican government, too, working with the uh, U.S. government. I don't see it there. It's up to the two presidents to get together and have a little drink over in Acapulco and, and, and have a little personal interest and get this job done. And, and maybe, if Joe— If not, then you take away their foreign aid. Joe Arpaio, we appreciate it. Maybe our president would like to add in a round of golf in Acapulco, but you're quite right, in my opinion, about cutting off foreign aid. Uh, we'll have to end the interview right there. As always, you have a standing invitation to join us on America's Forum, and we certainly appreciate what you had to say today. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. There he is, America's toughest sheriff, Joe Arpaio. That's his take. What is yours? Why don't you tweet me your comments at Newsmax TV, hashtag America's Forum. There's also NewsmaxTV.com slash comment. And don't forget Facebook. Our face is coming back in just a minute.